Coach, I cover Middle Tennessee. Uh -huh. uh, I'm asking every coach this as well. What is it about Middle Tennessee that they do best uh, or that you've seen? Uh, or I know you know, you're know, you brand new to this, yeah. but, uh, I mean, they, they made the NCAA tournament. Um, do you know anything about them so far? Yeah, I think just, just simply put, the, the, what I do know about them is their, their culture of toughness. You know, they, they expect to win, and they've got a tough group. Uh, seems like they have terrific leadership from, from the coaches and their uh, you know, veteran players as well. Uh, it was a tough year for UTSA as far as basketball goes, both record-wise and then the passing yes. of, of coach. How, how is the culture right now up there after really a tough season all around? Yeah, our, our guys had a, had a tough year and a tough off season. Yeah, and, and our guys uh, have had to deal with that. But right now, their their attitudes are terrific. They're hungry. They're very committed. They're they're uh, uh, coming to work every day the way we would hope they would. They're, they're they've got a little chip on their shoulder. They weren't happy with the way things went last year, and uh, and they want to make a jump. So we're pretty happy with them. And to follow that, how are you getting adjusted to, to these new settings and Conference USA and ETSA as a whole? Yeah, it's been great. The transition has been great. The people have been fantastic. Uh, there's a lot of excitement going on around our campus right now. Our football team is generating a lot of buzz. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, we had a chance to work with the guys just a little bit in April. We spent some time together in the summer. And uh, now we're off to a pretty good start here with our early, early workouts. And I like what our guys are doing. The adjustment has been great. The, uh, San Antonio is a great place to live. Uh, personally, <laughs> we're having a great time. Does, does football, uh, I mean, with the, you know, when Frank Wilson came in, kind of changed up the culture of football up there, brought a whole new level of excitement. Now you're at UTSA. Do you guys kind of feed off each other? The programs really feed off each other? For sure. For sure, you know, I think we both recognize uh, that we can do that very, very thing. We can feed off of what they're doing. Uh, my office is right there in the middle of all those football coaches. They're always hooping and hollering and, and uh, celebrating when they get a when they get a commitment from a player. Uh, their their uh, their level of energy is something we're going to feed off of, and their success. You know, they had a great win this past weekend, and uh, they're just sending a lot of energy into our entire campus. Coach, what's it what's it been like? You know, you. you, you you make an adjustment out as a head coach now and, and, and relay over to the guys. I know from you, from as a head coach, you, you attempt to smooth things over as much as possible, but you also got to put a staff together and the guys got to adjust to that. It just, it's almost like totally new, new surroundings. How have they, that, that's, that, that's all come together just before before the season starts? Yeah, our guys have, have handled all of it really well. Again, we had, they had some tough situations they had to deal with in the off season, but uh, uh, our staff has been terrific. We just try to get around our guys and spend time with them on and off the court um, and just, just show them how committed we were to them and they've responded with great effort on the court every day for us. The guys that are there, um, leadership, who has it, it, who has stepped up and all and just put the, the, the burden on their shoulders, so to speak, and yeah. and, move, and said, fellas, we got to move forward? Yeah. We're pretty happy with that. We've got a bunch of new guys, uh -huh. uh, some freshmen and a transfer. We had a kid sitting out last year. But uh, the guys that played and have been through it are the ones that are going to have the most impact and, and have the best feel for what's coming. So I think J.R. Harris and, and, and Lucas O'Brien have been two guys, two seniors that have, have been through it, that have been there, uh, that, that understand what our young guys need to do. And they've, uh, they've talked them through it and they've shown them, shown them the right way to work. And I'm pretty happy with our leadership from those guys. I'm good. Um, well then, just a couple more questions. Non-conference, it sets everything up for, for conference play. How do you schedule? Let's talk about it. Yeah, we've got an interesting non-conference. Oh, you got schedule. a smile conference yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're we, looking forward to some things. Well, we're looking forward to going on the road for three straight. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. So. That's, just, that's kind of early. The guys got to adjust to that real quick. Yeah, they do. We don't have any choice. That's what uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go play at Fresno State in the opener, at Oregon State, oh. then at uh, Illinois Chicago, and then we'll finally get to come back home. So it's, it's a tough way to start, but, uh, you know, that's all right. We've got we to line up and play them. Uh, December, we, we do get a few more home games in December, which is good. Um, but, you know, again, our, our, our focus is just on getting getting better every single day, getting better right now. We'll get uh, closer to game time, start talking about Fresno State, a good team, a good conference, and uh, line up and play the way. You know, the conference, everybody's talked about it so far. It's come in this morning about the balance. Um, it's not a, a lot of bottom fields. Everybody's competing now. You know, they, they, they're putting, stepping up to the plate. And, and every night, if you don't come with your game, you know you get beat at home or on the road. Yeah, 
for sure. I think that's you know another one of the people asked me what was exciting about the UTSA job and the conference. You know, you look at the teams that are in this conference and you go just through what they've done uh, over the years. A lot of really really good basketball programs in this league. Some great atmospheres. Yeah, you got to bring it every night. Is there anything else that's going on campus besides football and, and basketball is, is around the corner? You know, to, to look forward to it. It's coming on the horizon. Uh, just, you know, again, our, our campus uh, has got a great excitement right now with everything that's going on. You know, got some new coaches. Some of the best programs at UTSA are happen to be from uh, programs that have, have had coaches there for years. You know, our uh, volleyball program is off to a great start. And, uh, Coach, Coach Groff has been there for a long, long time. And, and our track program, those are two of the most successful programs historically, and, and uh, they both anticipate great years this year as well. So so the, the mix of the, the veterans and, and us new guys uh, is, is pretty exciting. <laughs> All right, then, Coach, if nothing else, I appreciate it. I want to thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Appreciate it.